Hey guys, uh, JSV. I'm going to do a video on the Bird Cara Cara, which is this bottom knife that you see here. I've got a couple other knives for size comparison and some other comparison. Uh, so, let's just get started. Uh, just as a little size comparison, okay, uh, this is my SOG Twitch 2, which you can review to my, uh, my other videos on that. Great knife, okay, we've got a review on that. Uh, Ontario Rat 1, as you can see, this is not the same one that I did the review on. This is a black one. Uh, awesome value, and that's why I bought a black one. Okay, I won't, I won't go on and on about that, but, uh, you know, it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth the price. And I'll kind of compare the Bird Care Care to that knife. I'm not really going to compare it to the Twitch, but just to give you a size comparison. I just tightened this Twitch up so it's real tight. Uh, it's a little bit slower opening right now, but I'll show you maybe later on how fast it opens. Okay, so a little size comparison there. Of course, check your local laws for blade length and carry uh, options there. Okay, uh, this bird care care is in the G10 scales. All right, this is a lock back, which is a really strong lockup. Really like that. Okay, real thin, especially compared to the Ontario Rat One, which I'm probably going to use as a basis for most of my comparisons here in the future. Um, which I think it's a great knife, and that's why I'm going to use it as comparisons. Uh, one of the reasons, obviously, this knife is thicker is it is the liner lock. Okay, uh, but check out my review on that knife because I I really think everybody should buy one of those for the price, thirty dollar range, awesome knife. Okay, so let's get right down to the care care here. Okay, lockback, like I said, this is the G10 handle. They do have stainless steel handle available and also the FRN or fiberglass reinforced nylon handles, which would be a little bit lighter. G10 is a little heavy, but I prefer the G10. It's for, for me, it's stronger. Uh, I don't mind the weight as much on this knife because it is flat. So if we're, com if we're uh, talking about concealment, just like a pistol, you know, if you conceal the gun, you want flat light, you know, you got to kind of, you know, do a little compromise. But this is a real flat knife, which is great. Okay, I don't think, not many people talk about that, but a flatter knife for concealment is really nice, or just for carry, you don't really notice it in the pocket as much. Uh, I think the flatness makes up for a little bit heavier weight. Okay, some people might agree, disagree, whatever, but that's my take on it, okay, because this is real flat in your pocket. Uh, a couple things I like on the Kara Kara versus a lot of other knives is the jumping is, is really good. You can hear that, and you can kind of see there that the jumping definitely hooks up could purchase uh, underneath as well into the liners. Okay. They also drill out the liners to save a little weight, even though this knife is still a little bit heavy. Okay, this steel is, is decent steel. This is supposed to compare to the uh, OS 8, it's the MCR 13 MOV. Um, I haven't sharpened this knife, so I can't really vouch for the you know the resharpening capabilities, but I'm really not planning to use this knife for cutting boxes or anything like that. I'm, I'm, this is more of a defensive type of knife for me. It's kind of big for me. Okay. Uh, here's your overall length of the knife. I always kind of give the hand comparison. Okay. And that's about what you're looking at lengthwise. Uh, but the blade is over three inches, so check your laws um, on that. Okay. The thing I do like is uh, with a full grip, for me, I don't have huge hands, but you still got some on the bottom sticking out. And then you can still choke up on it there. Okay. Give you a little bit better. Uh, a little bit better grip on it. You can do a little more precision cut, that type of thing. Okay. So lock back. Okay. Like I said, I just tighten this one, so it's this is not a good representation of how quick this blade is. Uh, I will loosen it up here in a little bit for you guys and show you how fast it does deploy. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> things I don't like about this knife. Okay. Which you got. You're going to make some compromises. This is, you know, I think I paid 25 bucks for this knife. Okay. So you're going to make compromises, but it's definitely a good value. Uh, the clip, I was kind of disappointed in the clip. It's pretty weak. It's also polished. Uh, I would prefer a flat black, or at least black, um, um, clip, all right? which is really not a big deal at all. But the strength of it is kind of a big deal. You can hear that. See how weak or loose it is? I'm probably going to bend it a little bit. Maybe it's just my knife. I don't know. But in comparison, sorry about that, in comparison to the Ontario Rat 1, I can't even get my finger under it. Okay, so it's, it's super tight. Pretty much the same style clip. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Maybe it's just an angle that it's on there. Uh, this spider cut, or I'm sorry, this bird cut out, where your spider cuts around, is a little bit bigger. Which, if you have gloves on, it's awesome. It gives you a really good area to get your finger in there and get that thing open quick. And this knife does deploy super fast uh, when it's at proper tension on the pivot point, which is adjustable. And another nice thing on this is this is all set up with uh, Torx heads, uh, you know, lugs or screws on the on the liners and on the scales themselves. So you can take this knife completely apart and clean it out. I really hate knives that are pinned. Uh, it just seems like when you use them, they, if they get wore out, you're, you're pretty much stuck with it. You can't adjust it, tighten it up. I think you should be able to take a tool and use other tools to adjust it. That's just me. Okay. Another nice thing I like on this knife is that you could use it as like a coubaton. Like I said, when, even when the blade's extended, you have a lot of that bottom, but you have all of this jumping right here, which gives you a, a good grip. Okay. So if you didn't want to deploy the knife, it's more of a non-lethal type grasp, uh, but definitely you could do some damage with that. That's all stainless and G10 on the end, and, and that could that could definitely uh, could help you out. Okay. So I'm going to loosen up this pivot point real quick because I got this thing super taut, and I'll show you the deployment on it. Um, one other thing that I kind of don't like, <coughs> sorry to go back and forth with the likes and don't likes, but I really prefer a flat ground blade. Um, that's just my preference. A lot of people don't care. Uh, the anterior rat one, flat ground, nice and thin. I mean, I really like that style. I'm not much for this hollow ground, I guess you could call it, uh, blade setup, but. Yeah, you know, to each his own. It definitely offers more strength. I mean, look how thick it is, you know, prying, that type of thing. It's a lot thicker, so it's give and take there, I guess. Another thing I want to say about this knife is there's no play in these knives at all, okay, when you get them side to side, up, down, all around. This thing's tight, real tight, built for abuse. So for that, you know, $20, $25 range, this is a, this is a really, really good purchase there, okay. So I'll loosen up that pivot point and kind of give you guys an idea about deployment. All right, I loosened up that pivot point a little bit. Like I said, that was super tight. Okay, just with the one little flick there. Also, what's nice on these, the lockback. If you keep your hands in the correct position, or even up here, but obviously be careful with sharp blades, you can release your lock. That blade's going to fall. It's not going to cut you. Flip over, close, back to open. So full one-hand operation, just like that. Okay, versus your liner lock as in on this Ontario Rat one where you push over and push down. Uh, this does put your finger or hand in harm's way at some point, but um, I'd say the deployment on this Ontario Rat one might be a little bit faster, but both really good. So so I guess my overall you know status on the Kara Kara is it's, it's an awesome buy. Uh, if you want a little bit thinner knife, which I definitely prefer in a lot of situations, that thinner, flatter knife, uh, a little bit bigger blade, G10 scales for that $25 range. Geez, can you beat it? I mean, show me a knife that's that's better for for less, other than the Ontario Rat One, which isn't less though. Yeah, $30 range, but uh, so I would definitely recommend this knife. Go out, so get get one for you. Um, if you guys have any questions, please post them or comments as well. I always appreciate uh, everybody watching my videos. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do making them. And uh, if you would subscribe, you know, go ahead. I'd appreciate that as well. And uh, take care. I'll have some more knife reviews coming up very shortly. Some more bird reviews, I'm sure. So stay tuned, and uh, everybody have a great one. Take care.